And now question five, David from the Greater Vancouver Board of Trade uh, is asking, how is the government of Canada working with the travel industry and airports to deploy testing and open up travel? How has the pilot program in Alberta gone? And I think British Columbia is especially hard hit with its tourism sector with regard to, to closure of airports, with regard to airplanes, and with regard to, to, uh, to uh, you know, testing itself, pre and post testing in airports and stuff. So, you know, this is a very important question for a lot of us in BC. Oh, it's, you know, listen, I know the issue in BC around tourism is so huge. As a matter of fact, yep. early on, and I think you and I were uh, together, or you knew I was out there anyway, early on in COVID-19, it was apparent that the tourism sector was going to be the first hit yes. and the hardest hit. And, you know, in fact, that's exactly what's happened. And uh, obviously, restaurants, bars, hotels, anything that's associated with that tourism industry is equally suffering. Yes. And so people are saying, well, what can we do to help the tourist sector? So I think, you know, listen, we've tried to put together, as you know, a, and I think we've done a good job in terms of economic supports. But but the challenge is that for tourism providers, sometimes those economic supports just aren't enough because how can you keep people employed if there's no tourists? And it's, it's very, very challenging, and our government fully understands that. We're trying now to understand a better on the, in terms of the border and people coming in from other countries, how we manage, um, or right now it's actually Canadians because we haven't changed our stance around foreign nationals, but right now we're trying to understand how we reduce that 14-day quarantine and we continue to make uh, good on our commitment to provinces and territories that we limit the importation of COVID-19. Nobody wants more cases to deal with. So we've got a few testing pilots across the country, one in Alberta, one in Vancouver actually. It's not actually government run, the one in Vancouver. Vancouver, but it is a, a very good uh, study. There's one in uh, Toronto being run out of McMaster. These three research um, uh, studies, and particularly the one in Alberta that the government of Canada is actually actively involved in, are going to give us better understanding of the blend of testing and quarantine that could be applied to really keep those numbers of importations low. Nothing I've heard about from Canadians trumps no pun intended, the need to keep the American border closed. People are terrified of what's going down, on yeah, down there. Yeah. You know, BC had a particularly early taste of that, right? That's where the real yeah. growth started to take off from, it turns out. It wasn't from China. It wasn't international travel. It was, you know, the uh, the, the shared the shared reality of having Seattle so close to you and, and you know, the um, the sort of West Coast United States. And so we've got to, we've got to get this right. And so that's what yeah. this research is about. I and the going through Alaska, to Alaska is a big one for yeah. us in BC, yeah. yeah. Um, I was going to say I have a young friend who goes to the University of Victoria. He's doing his master's there. And, of course, his mom is from Alberta <laughs> originally, but a long time ago. He's been living in British Columbia now for about 10 years. And his mom just decided to get a new car and gave him her old car, which of course still has Alberta license plates. And he was he drove it and he parked it. And when he came to get into his car, it had been vandalized so terribly oh. because there was an Alberta license plate. So we're oh. dealing with all of these. It's fair. Fear stokes anger. Uh, people are really concerned and, and don't stop to think that this young man had been living here for 10 years. Well, uh, it, it, yeah. see, we've got to not do, like, I know it's really, I mean, I'm probably speaking to the converted. I can't imagine the viewers on your town hall being that kind of person, but we've got to stand together. Listen, nobody gets sick on purpose. And nobody's willfully carrying the virus around. This is a really sneaky virus. It can feel like nothing for some people. You know, my partner has allergies. And in the early days, he could not tell. Was this a sore throat because of allergies or not? Now he has a system. A, he takes an allergy pill. And if it goes away, he knows it's his allergies. But well, that's hilarious it. because I take an allergy pill every morning because I have allergies. And, of course, I have asthma. And my asthma is controlled. But I take this pill because... This is a time of year when I am sniffling and sneezing and getting, you know, a sore throat in the mornings because of the, the mold, which is the brainy BC mold. Mm -hmm. And of course, and I get brown leaves when they get crushed, that whatever they puff into the air gets me trouble. But you're right. I take that because if I get up in the morning and it goes away, 
I know it's nothing and it's just my allergies. Acting right. Up. So, so yes. let's be kind to each other is my point. And, you know, uh, honestly, nobody's trying to infect anyone like this is not. And, and we have to remember that these are extremely, extremely sneaky viruses, you know, and the way that it expresses in your body could be so mild that you may not even know you had it. And that is yeah. what we're finding is that, you know, with the immunology, there are people that have had it, but don't even remember feeling symptomatic all the way up to people who are extremely ill. So yes. let's be, uh, let's be kind. People are not trying to import this virus anywhere. No, be kind and also be careful because I think a lot of people who are asymptomatic uh, can be contagious. So oh, just be sure. careful, listening to what the public health rules are, following it, please. And I know it's tough, um, especially for people who live alone. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, really tough.